as the current version of Synology's video station, 3.01, currently does not automatically pull metadata and poster art from the internet. In this video, we're going to take a look at how you can add the Movie Database API to Video Station. When you log into Video Station, you will find that the TMDB plugin has already been enabled. However, as the plugin is missing its registered application programming interface, or API, Video Station will not be able to automatically pull metadata and poster art for your video content. The first thing that we need to do is apply for an API key from the Movie Database website. So if we open a web browser and type tmdb.org, when we press enter on our keyboard, we're taken to the Movie Database website. If you already have a TMDB account, you now need to sign in. However, as we do not, we're going to register for a new account. In order to register with TMDB, we need to create a username, a password, and provide a valid email address. When we select Sign Up, we're notified that our account now needs to be verified. So if we open our email, we should have received an email verification request. By simply selecting Activate My Account, we can activate our account and are returned to the TMDB login page where we can log in for the first time. From within our TMDB profile, if we now select our account icon, and from the drop-down menu choose Settings, within Settings we have a sidebar that includes the option API. After selecting API, if we click on the request to create an API key, we're asked what type of key we wish to register, Developer or Professional. We need to select Developer. After checking the terms of use, we now need to answer three basic questions in order to create our API. While we're not sure how accurate you have to be with regards to the information that you need to provide in order to get your API to work, as we can't find a way to delete the API once it's been created, we're going to answer the questions as honestly as we can. So under Type of Use, we selected Desktop Application. Under Application Name, we entered Disk Station. However, you may prefer to use Video Station as it's more descriptive. For the option Application URL, we were not sure what information was needed. For example, is this a request for a domain or an IP address? So after reading a Synology article which states that we need to enter the IP address of our NAS, we decided to use our public IP address. To do this, we opened another browser tab and then we asked Google what our IP address is. We then copied our public IP address and pasted it into the application URL field. It's worth noting that as an experiment, once we had our API, we changed the application URL field to a local IP address and the API still worked. In Application Summary, we provided a short description of what we're using the API for. Finally, we filled in our personal details. When we selected Submit, our API was created. The information that we're looking for within the API is the API key. Once we found it, we simply copied it and then logged into Distation Manager using our administrator's credentials. Now from within the DSM, if we open Video Station, we are presented with a text box informing us that we need to enable the Video Info Plugin feature. While we could select Go to Settings to enable our plugin, so you can see where the plugin feature is located, we're going to select Got It. As you can see, the content in Video Station 
is not currently displaying any metadata. So if we choose settings, and then from within settings select video info plugin, under movie and TV shows, we will find that we've already got a plugin called the movie database, which also happens to be the system default plugin. If we highlight the plugin under movie, and then select edit, we are presented with a panel that displays a field for our API key. We now need to paste our API key into the corresponding field and test the connection. As the test reports that the connection was successful, we can now select OK, which will return us to the settings panel. We now need to tick the checkbox under apply for both movie and TV show. Although movie database under TV show uses the same plugin as movies, it does no harm to once again test the connection. If we return to the settings panel and then choose OK, unfortunately the content in video station will not automatically update itself. So let's test that our plugin actually works by updating a movie. When we highlight a movie, a series of icons will appear. By selecting options, and then from the drop down menu choosing Edit Video Info, an Edit Video Info panel will open. If we now select Search from Video Info Plugin, another panel will open which will allow us to search for our movie's info by using its movie title. When we select Search, a list of results is displayed. By selecting our movie from the list and then choosing OK, the metadata to that movie is added to Video Station. If we now select OK, the movie metadata and poster art is added to our movie. We now need to repeat the same process for the next film, as unfortunately at the time of posting, we've not found an easy way to automatically update the metadata to all content in Video Station. However, we will discuss a workaround at the end of this video. Let's now take a look at our TV shows. If we highlight a series and then choose the Edit Video Info button, we're once again presented with the Edit Video Info panel. By choosing Search from Video Info Plugin and then running a search for our TV series, when we highlight our series and return to Video Station, the metadata for the series is updated, but the individual episodes are not. So, as we mentioned earlier, let's discuss a workaround. You would think that if we were to log into Disk Station Manager using our administrator's credentials, and then by opening Control Panel and selecting Indexing Service, if we were to re index the Video Station folder, Video Station would update itself and automatically add the missing metadata to any content that did not already have metadata. However, as you can see, this is not the case, as Video Station will only add metadata to a movie or TV series when a file is initially added to our NAS via its network share. So to get Video Station to automatically update an existing piece of content, if we return to Disk Station Manager, and then from File Station open the Video folder, by simply changing the file name of a piece of content, and then renaming that file back to its original file name, Video Station will automatically re-index that file and add any metadata that it finds. If we now return to Video Station and refresh the home page, you can see that the piece of content that we renamed now has the correct metadata. So armed with this knowledge, if you have a lot of content in Video Station that does not have its metadata, by using a rename application, or if you are a macOS user using the rename command, you can quickly add the metadata back into your library of content.